Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Whiskey Review One, where I drink from the top shelf, the bottom shelf, everything in between, and give you an honest opinion of what's in the bottle. Today we're going to take a look at High West Cask Strength. This is a this is a new release. It says it's hand selected for Utah. Now I'm not sure where this is going to be released. Uh, and I'm not sure if there's a different blend for every state, and this is just something to make make us here in Utah feel like we're special, and <laughs> maybe it is. But if it's made it to your state, leave a comment and let me know. This is bringing in at 117 and change, I think 117.3, 0.4. I don't know, the, the numbers kind of faded. It wasn't printed very well, so I can't see. I paid, I think, $65 for this, which I feel is a fair price here in Utah. Um, I know out, outside Utah and other states, it's not a state controlled price on the liquor. We have state liquor stores here, so you may see it for a little more in other places, but you're probably not gonna see it for less. Let's take a look at it. Powdered sugar, dark fruit, raisins, like sugary raisins. Oak, vanilla. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Not a lot of ethanol. You'd think at 117, the ethanol would come in a little more, a little stronger. That's good. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, uh, where there's original toppy, the raisin stayed, the oak is there, brown sugar, there's a spice there, it's not black pepper. Hmm, that's good. Uh, maybe like a Snickers bar or some kind of some kind of candy, but it, it, it's very good. The finish is bitter, but there's that there's that layer of brown sugar that comes in over the top of it with it. It mingles with it, and it takes that that bitterness and mellows it out. And that's it's good. It's good. I like what I'm getting here. Uh, the knock I would give it is the finish doesn't hang around very long. It's uh it's there, and then it's gone. Uh, it's a short finish, short to medium to be generous. But all in all, this is a, mm. 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 okay, so mm. going back into it, the sweetness is elevated. It just got, it, it got, it got sweeter. And the corn, it's, and now it's a dusty corn. Oh, oh, on this, uh, it hangs around a little longer the second time through. But it's, it's still not, it, it, it's still not a long finish. Medium at best. All in all, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give this uh, 7.25 stars. It's good, I will buy it again. I enjoyed that, that was nice. Let's see how it stacks up to their regular bourbon. Now, I'm not sure what the mash bill is on these. I, I don't know. I, I know this is MGP in Heaven Hill. This one, I have no idea. But, uh, I mean, if this is bourbon and that's their cast street bourbon, you'd think there'd be some similarities. If they ain't brothers, they ought to be cousins. Let's see how they are. Uh... Can you see that? Well, let's give you a good look at it. Yeah, you can't get a good look at it because that camera is not the greatest. There we go. Uh, I do. I, I believe that this this bottle is their American Prairie Bourbon. Just uh, rebranded. But I, I know I like. 
I know I like this bottle. I know I like this bottle. I really like this bottle. This is good stuff. Uh, let's take a look at it. Let's see. Let's see if there's any similarities between the two. And uh, yeah. I should have started with the lower proof. What is this ringing in at? 46% ABV, so 92 proof. There's definitely a... Yeah, I should have started with lower proof. Um, it's like 9.30 in the morning, and that was my first sip of whiskey. I should have started with this one, right? Because uh, the other one's going to kind of knock the other one out. Um, anyway, let's see, let's see what's in here. Alfalfa. Like, like fresh cut hay. No, not fresh. Uh, no, I hate to spend in the barn for a while. Vanilla, cocoa powder. There's something else there. I'm not sure what I'm. I'm not sure what I'm smelling. Um, right. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, right. That's nice. I, I really like this bottle. Uh, let, let's go in. Let's see what it tastes like. brown sugar and butter, vanilla, oak, Coca-Cola, but like the, like the, like the one you get, the Mexican Coca-Cola with all the sugar in it, the one that's really good, candy bar. Mm, let's, let's do it again. It's good. I really like it. The oak's there on the end. The finish is... It leaves something to be desired. I would say it, it's a bitter oak at the end, and but it doesn't hang around long enough to be annoying. I, I like it. I enjoy it. I, I, I like proof. I like higher proof stuff. I like... I like something that really punches you and you know it's there, but adding two of these, I'm probably enjoying the uh, just the regular bourbon more, which is unexpected. Let's try it again. Mmm. 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 Yeah, it doesn't change much on the second second round there, but uh, oh wait, no, it's lingering a little more at the end. Yeah, but there's a lot of oak there. Not unpleasant, just uh, I, I would like it to finish with a little more sweetness than just a bitter oak. But all in all, either one of these bottles, I, I believe. The, uh, I believe the bourbon's about 38, 40 bucks. And as I said, the uh, cast drink is coming in at about $65. Either one of these are great bottles. This one, I, I'm gonna say this is about a 7.75 stars. 
seven and three quarter stars. Uh, usually the cast strength, of, I'm gonna like it a little more. I like the proof, I like the way it hits, I like the, I like the flavor punch you get from it. But out of these two, I think the better value for your money is gonna be just, just the regular bourbon. I think it's a little bit better. With that said, um, I will buy another bottle of the cast strength. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like what you saw, please leave a like. Go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to try to do one video a week uh, and see where we go from there. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you next time.